Hi, it's Katrina. From enormous gaping voids to pits where you can hear the sounds of the Earth itself, here are 11 of the deepest holes we have been able to dig. Number 11. Diavik Diamond Mine Located about 190 miles northeast of Yellowknife in Canada's Northwest Territories, the Diavik Diamond Mine is a remote diamond mine situated in a sub-Arctic landscape consisting of two open pits with a depth of over 600 feet and a gravel airstrip. Mining operations began in 2003, and the site is expected to have a 16 to 22 year lifespan. The mine produces around 7 million carats of diamonds annually and is a major part of the regional economy, employing over 1,100 workers. Underground mining began in 2010, and in 2012, the transition from open pit to underground mining was complete. Getting supplies to the mine is a somewhat tricky operation, as it's only accessible by air or via a seasonal ice road from Yellowknife. The logistics have gotten extra complicated before, including in 2006, when roads froze late and thawed early, forcing Diavik and other nearby mines to have the remainder of their supplies flown in. The largest gem-quality diamond ever discovered in North America was mined at Diavik in August 2015. Because Diavik is known for unearthing mostly small diamonds, this one almost got thrown away for its size under the assumption that it was kimberlite. Known as the Foxfire Diamond, the 187.63 carat gem was sold at auction for an undisclosed price to a man named Deepak Sheth of Amadina Investments, who made the unusual move of permitting the Smithsonian to borrow it. Number 10. Kimberly Diamond Mine Nicknamed the Big Hole, the Kimberly Diamond Mine is rumored to be the world's largest hole dug by hand, measuring 1.2 miles wide and 705 feet deep. Built by 50,000 laborers, the pit is so large it is visible from space. Digging started in 1871, with tens of thousands of workers flocking to the site over the following year. They worked and lived in appalling conditions, including stifling heat and a lack of water and adequate nutrition. There was no proper waste disposal in their communities of basic dwellings that mining companies provided them with. Many miners died on the job. Over 22 million tons of earth and 14 and a half million carats of diamonds were excavated at the big hole between the time it opened and 1914, when work at the mine ended. Englishman Cecil Rhodes, who founded the De Beers Diamond Company, profited handsomely from the yields at Kimberley. Today, the site operates as a museum, welcoming visitors to learn about the history of the Kimberley Diamond and enjoy diamond and artifact displays. The thriving mining town that now sits empty is also open for exploration. Number 9. Wooding Dean Well At 1,285 feet deep, the Wooding Dean Water Well is the world's deepest hand-dug well. Work on the well, which is located next to the Nuffield Hospital near Brighton and Hove in England, began in 1858. Its purpose was to provide water to a nearby school and a workhouse, a facility where poor and orphaned people went to work in exchange for food and a bed to sleep in. The workhouse residents actually built the well with several men cramming into the less than four foot wide opening, filling buckets with earth and then hauling them to the top, while returning buckets full of bricks and mortar to the bottom. Some laborers worked naked due to the appalling conditions. They relied on candlelight using unstable ladders to scale the shaft. Over four years of construction, however, only one man fell and lost his life. When workers failed to hit water at 438 feet, the project's costs began to mount, despite the original cost-cutting intentions that inspired the Wooding Dean Well. Finally, at a depth exceeding the height of the Empire State Building, the water came up. Number 8. Berkeley Pit Opened in 1955 by the Anaconda Copper Mining Company, the Berkeley Pit is a former open pit copper mine in Butte, Montana that is filled with heavily acidic water contaminated with heavy metals and dangerous chemicals. The mining pit turned lake is one mile long and 1,780 feet deep, with the water filled to about 900 feet. When the Berkeley pit closed on Earth Day 1982, water pumps at a nearby mine were turned off, causing groundwater to seep into the now defunct pit. The water rose by about a foot every month until it reached its current depth. It is imperative for cleanup efforts to be made before the water reaches the current water table level because if and when that happens, the pit water will flow into and contaminate surrounding freshwater sources, including Silverbow Creek, which acts as the Clark Fork headwaters of the Columbia River. 
The water is so contaminated, its current owner has mined copper directly from it. A flock of geese learned about the toxic water the hard way in 2016, when they sheltered at the lake during a snowstorm. Between 3,000 and 4,000 geese died due to exposure to sulfuric acid and heavy metals. Since then, officials have made it a point to deter and scare birds away from the site in hopes of preventing another tragedy. To slow the water's rise, the Horseshoe Bend Water Treatment Plant began diverting water from the pit during the 1990s. In September 2018, construction began on a new water treatment plant, which is slated to be finished within five years of the pit's water reaching the natural water table. However toxic the Berkeley pit may be, it's also a tourist attraction, complete with a gift shop and a viewing platform, which charges a fee for visitors to catch a glimpse of the contaminated pit lake. Would you visit this place, or have you? Let me know in the comments below! And while you're at it, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already! Number 7. Chuquicamata Located in northern Chile at 9,350 feet above sea level, Chuquicamata is the world's largest open-pit copper mine according to its excavated volume of around 300 billion cubic feet. At 2,790 feet deep, it's the world's second deepest open-pit mine. The pit measures 2.7 miles long and 1.9 miles wide. Chuquicamata is situated above one of the world's largest known copper deposits. People have been mining copper here for centuries, as evidenced by a mummy dating back to 550 AD, who was discovered trapped in an ancient mine shaft. Large-scale operations began in 1915, and in 1969, control of the mine was transferred from foreign to Chilean hands. The copper reserves at Chuquicamata won't last forever. To take advantage of what's left, the site is being transformed into an underground mine, which will enable it to exploit the remaining resources until the year 2058. Number 6. Bingham Canyon Mine Known as the Kennecott Copper Mine among locals, the Bingham Canyon Mine in Utah's Oak Hair Mountains outside Salt Lake City is the world's deepest man-made open pit, measuring 0.75 miles or 3,960 feet deep. At 2.5 miles wide and occupying around 1,900 acres total, it's also the world's largest man-made excavation. Two brothers, Sanford and Thomas Bingham, first discovered copper ore at the site in 1848, and ore extraction began in 1863. Over 19 million tons of copper have been produced at the Bingham Canyon Mine arguably more than anywhere else in the world. Currently owned by the British-Australian multinational corporation Rio Tinto Group and managed by the Kennecott Utah Copper Corporation, the mine has officially been in operation since 1906 and has changed hands several times. By the 1920s, around 15,000 workers lived in communities in the canyon. As the mine grew, these residential areas were swallowed up. Kennecott Copper Corporation owned Bingham Canyon Mine for much of its life, but British Petroleum acquired it following the 1973 oil crisis, and Rio Tinto purchased it after that. In recent years, Rio Tinto has undertaken efforts to expand the mine for the sake of extracting more copper ore. More! We want more! Last year, the company implemented a $1.5 billion investment plan to continue operations until 2032. The move preserves hundreds of mining jobs that were otherwise slated to be eliminated in 2026. Number 5. Deepest Holes in Antarctica Last year, scientists with the British Antarctic Survey dug a 7,060-foot borehole through an ice sheet in West Antarctica. It was the largest hole ever dug using a hot water drill and the deepest ever in the region. The hole was created as part of the Bed Access Monitoring and Ice Sheet History, or BEAMISH project, which aims to help researchers better understand climate-related sea level rise. It was a welcome comeback from a 2004 failed attempt at drilling a deep hole into the ice. An 11-person crew drilled for 63 hours to reach the sediment beneath the ice on the Rutford Ice Stream, a fast-moving glacier that deposits ice into the ocean. Once the hole was completed, scientists had to act fast to study it before it froze shut. They took samples of sediment and dropped various instruments into the hole to measure conditions like water temperature, pressure, and deformation, hoping to gain a glimpse at how future climate change will affect the region. Number 4. Moab Kotsong Mine Located in South Africa near the Vaal River, roughly 112 miles southwest of Johannesburg, the Moab Kotsong Mine contains one of the world's deepest mine shafts and man-made holes, measuring 9,800 feet deep, or nearly two miles below the surface. Moab Kotsong, which has been operating since 2003, offers the world's longest elevator ride, transporting thousands of workers to the bottom of the shaft and back up every day. Nicknamed the Cage, 
The triple deck elevator holds up to 120 people at once, and the 450 story ride down takes several minutes starting out slow and gaining speed as it descends. Operated by Harmony Gold, the mine is located in a once bustling region that saw its mining industry largely abandoned as the gold supply dwindled. But instead of bailing, Moab Kotsong decided to dig even deeper. It produces just one quarter of the 60 tons it once yielded annually. Scientists are exploring at the mine in hopes of finding signs of life in places where it was previously thought impossible to exist and to study seismology by drilling into a fault beneath the mine which sparked a dangerous earthquake in recent years. Number 3. Z44 Chavo Well Oil corporations are digging deeper and deeper to find the world's remaining oil wells, resulting in some of the world's deepest and longest wells being drilled in recent years. Completed in 2012 as part of the Exxon Neftegas Sakhalin 1 project, the Z44 Chavo Well extends 40,604 feet or 7.7 .7 miles below the Earth's surface. Located on the Sakhalin shelf in Russia's Far East, the shaft's depth is equivalent to 15 Burj Khalifas, the world's tallest skyscraper, piled on top of one another. The well narrowly defeated the company's previously set record for the world's longest well, the Odop 2 OP-11 well, which has a depth of 40,502 feet or 7.67 .67 miles. Altogether, six of the world's ten record-setting extended-reach drilling wells were drilled in the Sakhalin 1 projects fields since 2003. As some critics of record-holding wells point out, many of these shafts have what's known as horizontal displacement, meaning they descend into the ground at an angle rather than strictly vertically. In other words, their measured depth according to this downward angle does not necessarily reflect the bottom of the hole's vertical distance from the surface. Number 2. Project Mohol In 1958, American engineers attempted to retrieve samples of the Mohorovicic discontinuity, or MOHO, the boundary between the Earth's crust and mantle, by drilling a hole through the Pacific Ocean floor in Guadalupe, Mexico. Founded by the National Science Foundation and run by a group of scientists called the American Miscellaneous Society, the project was controversial from the start, facing both political and scientific opposition as well as mismanagement and cost overruns. While part one of the project was successful, differing views completely prevented segment two from commencing. The project was discontinued in 1966, when the U.S. House of Representatives ended funding before drillers could reach the mantle. Number 1. Kola Superdeep Borehole In 1970, Soviet scientists began drilling the Kola Superdeep Borehole on Russia's Kola Peninsula as a way to one-up the U.S. Project Mohol. The Soviets drilled from 1970 until 1992, boring a 9-inch diameter hole extending 40,230 feet, or roughly 7.6 miles, into the Earth, making it the world's deepest man-made hole in 1989. Plans to dig even deeper were interrupted by higher-than-expected temperatures of 356 degrees Fahrenheit, which made continuing unfeasible. Drilling stopped, and the project officially ended three years later when the Soviet Union fell. Numerous discoveries and observations were made along the way during the borehole's creation. At four miles below the surface, microscopic plankton fossils appeared. A little further down, scientists noticed that the rock was saturated with water sourced from underground minerals, where it sat trapped beneath an impermeable layer of rock. At its deepest, the Kola Superdeep borehole penetrates roughly one-third through the Baltic Shield continental crust, where it reaches rocks dating back to the Archean geological period, lasting from 4 to 2.5 billion years ago. Unfortunately, the Kola Hole closed down in 2005 and was partially filled in with concrete. In 1990, the German Continental Deep Drilling Program, or KTB, began in Bavaria and drilled down to 5.6 miles. This huge drill rig is still there and can be visited by tourists. Dutch artist Lottie Given wanted to record sounds in the Kola Borehole, but discovered it was closed. Instead, she was able to lower the microphone down the German hole to see what the Earth sounded like. Everyone expected it to be silent, but instead, she captured a deep rumbling, like thunder that made the hair on her arms stand up straight. Exactly what the sound is, is still a mystery. Thanks for watching! Now that you've learned about man made holes, would you like to learn about some of the Earth's deepest natural holes? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!